Aiden was female for the first 20 years of his life. What do you think? He didn't like dresses. He wanted the boy clothes. My greatest hope was that he would be able to be himself. And we were fortunate that Aiden wanted to do well. He liked school. He got along with his classmates. When I got to be in about middle school, that was when people started to kind of say things that made me realize like I was different and it seemed like it was negative. So I started to feel really depressed. Through my senior year, I basically was the walking target for people to bully. It became an unbearable situation. And so I told my mom, I'm not going back to school. I feared for the kind of life he was gonna have. I was so desperate that I went online and I looked for the local PFAG chapter. I saw parents who had started in a place like mine, and yet here they were talking about how great their kids were doing. I am so grateful to PFLAG. I don't know where our family would be without it. To help LGBT kids who struggled in school like Aiden did, Marsha began working with community centers and school districts across the country to develop safe and nurturing alternative diploma programs. He has just blossomed. I see this confident, compassionate person where I used to see somebody that had no hope. I think all of where I'm at, I really owe to my family. I'm married to my best friend, Mary, and I got to finish school and complete my bachelor's degree. Aiden Izumi. The thing I'm most proud of with my mom is she's been able to find this voice. It's been able to help a lot of people. I really think I can say that I did something good. You want to be proud of your kids, but you want your kids to be proud of you too.